नमस्कार मैं हूं निवेदिता एक कहावत है तू कौन मैं खाम खा जम्मू कश्मीर से मोदी सरकार ने आर्टिकल 370 क्या हटाया ऐसे खाम खाओं की लाइन सी लग गई पाकिस्तान अलग अपना रुधन मचाए हुए हैं तो वहीं कुछ लोग भी इस मुद्दे पर अपनी बिन मांगी सलाह देने के लिए बेचैन हो रहे हैं ऐसा ही कुछ हुआ चीन के साथ जहां विदेश मंत्री एस जयशंकर इन दिनों तीन दिवसीय दौरे पर हैं। सोमवार को एस जयशंकर ने चीन के विदेश मंत्री वांग यी से मुलाकात की इस मुलाकात में चीन ने जम्मू कश्मीर से आर्टिकल तीन हटाए जाने के साथ साथ लद्दाख और जम्मू कश्मीर को केंद्र शासित बनाए जाने का मुद्दा उठा दिया जिस पर भारत ने ड्रैगन को ऐसा जवाब दिया कि उसकी बोलती बंद हो गई भारतीय विदेश मंत्री ने साफ कर दिया कि हमारे देश का आंतरिक मामला है चीन अपने काम से काम रखे इससे उनका कोई लेना देना नहीं है ये भारत का अधिकार है कि वो अपने आंतरिक मामले पर जो चाहे फैसला ले हुआ कुछ ही कि दोनों देशों के बीच विदेश मंत्री स्तर की बातचीत में चीन ने कहा कि वो जम्मू कश्मीर पर भारतीय संसद द्वारा पारित अधिनियम से जुड़े घटनाक्रम पर नजर रखे हुए हैं और कश्मीर को लेकर भारत पाक के बीच बढ़े तनाव पर भी करीबी से निगरानी कर रहा है चीन ने अनुरोध किया कि भारत क्षेत्रीय शांति और स्थिरता के लिए रचनात्मक भूमिका निभाए जिस पर भारत ने अपनी तीखी प्रतिक्रिया दी और कहा कि भारतीय संविधान के एक अस्थायी प्रावधान में बदलाव करना भारत सरकार का विशेष अधिकार है ना तो भारत ने किसी दूसरे देश की सीमा के साथ कोई छेड़छाड़ की है और ना ही कोई उल्लंघन है भारत चीन के बीच आज भी तीन किलोमीटर की वही एल है जो पहले हुआ करती थी जम्मू कश्मीर भारत का आंतरिक मुद्दा है भारत की ओर से ना तो चीन से सटे किसी क्षेत्र पर दावा किया गया है और ना ही चीन के साथ उसकी सीमा पर कोई विवाद हुआ भारत ने यह भी साफ कर दिया कि अगर हमारे बीच किसी चीज को लेकर मतभेद हैं, तो वो विवाद में तब्दील नहीं होना चाहिए दरअसल जम्मू कश्मीर में जब से केंद्र सरकार ने अनुच्छेद 370 को हटाया है तभी से पाकिस्तान में हाय तौबा मची हुई है किसी रूठे हुए बच्चे की तरह पाकिस्तान आए दिन ऐसे फैसले ले रहा है जिससे उसी की पूरी दुनिया में जग हसाई हो रही है अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मंच पर भी उसका साथ देने के लिए कोई तैयार नहीं है पूरी दुनिया के सामने रुधन मचाने के बाद पाकिस्तान की आखिरी उम्मीद चीन से ही बची थी लेकिन अब भारत ने चीन को भी अपने काम से काम रखने की हिदायत दे डाली है और कह दिया है कि जम्मू कश्मीर को लेकर भारत के आंगन में ड्रैगन का कोई काम नहीं दिस एक्सरसाइज इन एक्सचेंज ऑफ आइडियाज अमंग ओपिनियन मेकर्स इन द मीडिया ऑफ फ्रेटर्निटी विल गो अ लॉन्ग वे इन बिल्डिंग ऑन द अचीवमेंट ऑफ द प्रीवियस फुल डिस्कशन विद योर काउंटर पार्ट for promoting greater friendship and cooperation between the media of two countries and in the process contribute to the overall development of our bilateral relations i'm confident that the forum was a big success uh, and once again i thank our hosts for all the arrangements for what has been uh, today a very productive and uh, successful day thank you Thank you, Your Excellency, Mr. Foreign Minister. Now I have the honor to invite State Councillor Wang Yi to deliver his remarks. Friends from the media, good afternoon. It is my great pleasure to uh, meet with you together with Minister Jashanka. Minister Jashanka had served as Indian ambassador to China for many years, making positive and active contribution to China-India relations. This is his first visit to China after he took office as the foreign minister. Welcome, Excellency. This morning, Mr. Minister and I held official talks during which we had an in-depth exchange of views on bilateral relations and international and regional issues of shared interest. We are of the view that as the two major developing countries and emerging economies with uh, over one billion people each, observance to the five principles of uh, peaceful coexistence, friendly relations between China and India fully serve the uh, fundamental long-term interest of both countries and both peoples. It also will make our further contribution to world peace and human progress. We are of the view that guidance provided by our leaders is the most important guarantee for the growth of China-India relations, the most 
important political guarantee. It is especially important to maintain high-level engagement momentum, in particular make good preparations for the second informal summit to ensure that China-India relations will continue to move forward along the right direction. We are of the view that to ensure the success of this high-level mechanism on people-to-people people and cultural exchanges, the strategic economic dialogue, financial dialogue, and other important institutionalized dialogues are very important. We need to strengthen our cooperation mechanisms, including more defense exchanges, so that we can build more practical results. We are of the view that we need to further deepen our practical economic and trade cooperation. China appreciates India's concerns over trade imbalances, and we stand ready to continue to provide facilities to Indian exports to China. At the same time, we need to think more broadly and expand cooperation in investment, industrial production, tourism, border trade, and other areas so that we can achieve overall balance in our economic and trade relations. We are of the view that we need to abide by the UN Charter, respect sovereignty and territory integrity of all countries, and to properly address relevant disputes through dialogue. We will continue to utilize the special representative mechanism over the boundary question to seek early harvest in the boundary negotiation, the CBMs at the border areas, and related cooperation to maintain peace and tr tranquility in the border areas, and to finally find a fair and proper solution to the boundary question. We are of the view that it is important to strengthen coordination and, co and cooperation on hotspot international and regional issues. In particular, we need to build consensus among developing countries, safeguard the uh, status of China and India as developing countries, and the development right that we enjoy within the WTO and the legitimate rights and interest in that regard. We need to firmly push back unilateralism, protectionism, and bullyism with concrete actions and firmly uphold the purpose and principles of the UN Charter and the basic norms governing international relations. Well, there are some differences between our two countries. We don't shy away from those differences. We exchanged views on those matters in a candid manner. Regarding the recent tensions between India and Pakistan, we uh, made clear China's concerns on the issues that regarding involving China's sovereignty and rights and interest. We also stated China's principled position. This afternoon, together with Minister Jashanka, we co-chaired the second meeting of the high-level mechanism on people-to-people -people exchange. This mechanism was is established as part of an agreement, an important agreement reached by President Xi and Prime Minister Modi, it is a creative step to show up popular support. Leading officials from over a dozen departments and ministries attended the meeting, and together we reviewed the progress made since the first meeting in this particular area, and we explored together the future plans for cooperation. And let me summarize our discussion into five consensus. First, we both believe that to strengthen people-to-people -people exchanges, it is important to be result-oriented and build common understanding. Through the effective mechanism, we can carry forward our traditional friendship to the general public and translate the leaders' consensus into real action and strengthen the momentum of people-to-people -people exchange so that we can have sustained driving force for China-India relations. Second, we both believe that to strengthen people-to-people -people exchanges, we need to be inclusive and build common ground while minimizing differences. Internationally, we join hand to write a new chapter that our two civilizations Ex coexist in harmony with mutual respect, and we jointly drive progress in Asia and for humanity. Third, we both believe that we need to have careful design and create some premium prospect products. Today, our ministries and departments have put forward a lot of constructive initiatives and proposals. Let me uh, 
give you a few examples. Minister Jashanke also mentioned that almost all Indian people want to pay pilgrimage to the uh, Kalash and Manzarova. Uh, 